Hi, my name is Angelo. I'm a teacher in Toronto and I really love to cook. Today on Easy Recipes by Seafood Crate, we'll be making chipotle tacos. For our recipe today, we'll need some shrimp. And of course we have Seafood Crate's wild-caught Argentinian shrimp. We also have some red and green cabbage, red onion, and some lime. In addition, we'll need some honey, chipotles in adobo sauce, cilantro, garlic, and mayonnaise, and don't forget our taco shells. And these are our wild-caught Argentinian shrimp. I'll just show you very quickly how to take the shell off. When you receive these shrimp, they will be head off and deveined. They're super easy to work with, and it's just a matter of pinching the shell and twisting the tail, and that's it. For the first step in this recipe, we'll have to marinate our shrimp. So what I have here is about a tablespoon of honey, which I'm gonna mix with our chipotle and adobo sauce. And the honey will help to take a little bit of the edge off the chipotle. I do have some chopped garlic here, which you may want to add just about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon, depending on your preference. Save some for later because we'll need it for our crema. Once you've added the garlic to the shrimp, just give everything a quick mix so that everything is nice and coated. And that's it. Set it aside to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. The next step in this recipe is to prep the slaw for our tacos. So we'll take a little bit of our red and our green cabbage and we'll slice them very thinly and do the same with our onion as well. Take your time, chop it as thin as you can. And once you chop it, just kind of break the pieces apart because this is going to be a garnish for our shrimp tacos. So I've got a portion of the red cabbage and I'll do the same with our green cabbage. Get a little bit of red onion as well. I'll add all of these ingredients into a bowl. And what I'll do is I'll toss them with a little bit of lime juice, some salt, and some pepper. The lime juice will help to soften the onion and the cabbage and take out some of the moisture from the cabbage as well. I'll go ahead and use the full lime. Add some salt to taste. Pepper to taste. I don't mind a bit of extra pepper. And you can add a little bit of chopped cilantro as well. We'll need some extra cilantro for the shrimp once they're done cooking. You can use your hands, you can use a set of tongs to mix these all around until it's evenly coated. So we're ready to cook our shrimp. Turn on the heat, grab a little bit of olive oil, Need about two tablespoons into the pan, just to coat the bottom. And the first step for this is we're gonna saute a little bit of garlic. So the garlic we chopped earlier, we're gonna take about half. We're gonna save half of the chopped garlic for our crema sauce. Slide the garlic around in our pan just a little bit. And as soon as you hear that garlic start to sizzle, you'll smell it in the air. Then you're ready to start adding the shrimp. You can dump your entire portion of shrimp right in and you want to keep the pan moving at all times so you can use your tongs and you'll start to see the shrimp start to seize up right away as soon as they turn translucent give it about another 30 or 45 seconds and then we're ready to eat just before we take it off the heat I've got my chopped cilantro which I'll dump in right now the cilantro adds a really nice bright flavor to our shrimp and we'll just toss that in really nicely as our marinade is starting to tighten up right now. So I've got about three tablespoons of mayonnaise here. What I've done is I've taken a little bit of cold water and added it to the mayonnaise. The reason for that is we want this to be a little bit thinner of a consistency. Now with the remainder of our garlic, I'm simply gonna mix it in. If you've ever been to a Mexican restaurant before, you'll notice that a lot of tacos are served with a crema, which is a sour cream based sauce. We're gonna cheat a little bit here with garlic and mayonnaise and you won't be able to know the difference. So I've added the garlic to our mayo with a little bit of water and I'm just gonna simply mix it up until you get a nice smooth consistency. And we're ready to start building our tacos. I've got hard shell tacos here, but you can certainly use soft shells if you prefer them. So what I'll do is I'll take a few shrimp and layer them into the taco shell. Do this very carefully. Then I'll take our cabbage coleslaw and then I'll start to layer that in each shell as well. You don't have to be too precise with this. And the last thing that you wanna add is our little secret cheat sauce, a crema with garlic, and you can just drizzle 
that right over the top. And there you have it. Another easy recipe brought to you by Seafood Crate.